Hey guys, RC here. We're back with episode three, Climbing the Ladder, Football Manager 20. We are in Austria with Lebendorf, and we're struggling a little bit, but we did beat uh, Team Weinerleinen 2-1. Uh, Petrov with a penalty in the fourth minute. Daniel Beck scored from the wing in the 17th minute. They got one back late in the game and then had a player sent off. Uh, we won that one 2-1, and then... Reed, we lost 1-0, gave up an 89th minute goal, and just let it slip away from us. We had a point sewn up. So in the competition, we are in relegation stage, three points with four matches. But, you know, we're one point for mid-table. We're one win for mid-table. So, you know, it's still early, still early. Uh, we forgot to look at that transfer that we had uh, arranged last uh, episode he hadn't arrived yet but he is here and now he can make his he has made his debut Rossano Barsanti uh, came in on a free he is a 21 year old Italian striker not the greatest in finishing but he's got really good physicals and he just gives us a little more depth up there he's got some flair off the ball composure uh, he can even head the ball semi-decently uh, but anyway he played a 6.4 in his debut match uh, wasn't the greatest, but he's got a lot of potential. We also went in on this guy, Mark Marku Koskinen, I think so. Uh, we went after him. Uh, he took a contract offer, but there were three teams, three or four teams after him, and uh, he uh, he signed elsewhere. Would have been, I think, would have been nice to get him. He was a finish a player, good finishing, a little lacking on the pace, but really good acceleration. So short burst, um, he would have been more, you know, how tall is he? He's six foot, but he's not a hit, can't head the ball. But thought he would have been a good signing, but he wouldn't have been available till end of contract, which is uh, December first for him. Looks like he's not joining his new club until uh, February 1st so of next year. So he'll be out of action for a couple of months. But uh, let's get to it. We are playing uh, FAC Team for Wine. I think that's at least close. Not sure. Uh, they are currently first in the table. Four wins from four matches. Plus eight goal differential. Oof. All right, and we are on the road. So I am going to go to I am going to go to this tactic. This is what the what we call the big away. And this is where we're playing more against teams that are much bigger than us and and we should have a hard time handling. So let's go with that. Uh, they're going to put Cobman back, Coleman back up top with Somner. We do have Barsanti on the bench. Um, tell you what, it's I'm going to give, I'm going to rotate these guys for a while. Let me just kind of see. Six seven, six four, six four, six nine, six seven, and then get Gob or Gab. Six five, seven four. Yeah, he looks like he's actually playing better. So let's go ahead and go with that and see what we can do. Playing a little more defensively today. We're still in an attacking format, but give him a morale boost. Tell you what, I'm in love with my OBS software now. The, uh, the latest update actually gives the ability to pause recordings instead of having to stop it and have two videos for every episode or a long gap between episodes, you know, between matches or whatever. How Beck was not flagged for that, I don't know, but he gets the ball up to Coleman. The light truss is in the way. I can't see what happened. That's that's a, a design flaw in the game. I don't think they're supposed to have that issue. <laughs> All right, I think we should have scored a goal there, but it just went wide. Yeah, that's that's not good. Good ball out by them. Got to give them a little credit there. 
All right, got some pressure on them. We're not getting stuck in, so we should have less yellow cards, but it means they're going to have a little more in free opportunities. There's a header that just, just drifts wide. All right, we've got as many shots. Let's see. Hello, you're a sweeper keeper. Why did you not come out and make a play on that ball? And how did you not cut it off at the angle it came back on you at? Oh, that's brutal. Demand more. Oh, sure, get pressured. Get pressured. That's fine. All right, Um. right, let's see, tactics. Tighter marking. We're not telling them to get stuck in. Still working the ball into the box. Sympathize and watch your step. All right, set piece. Oh, he was taken down in the box and it's a penalty attempt. All right, who's lining up to take it for us? Petrov. Oh, and he just beats the keeper to the post. He's our central midfielder. Okay, just st I'm still trying to get to know the players as well. But that's good. We'll take the penalty to equalize. Let's give him a spot of praise off of that. Oh, they're overwhelmed by praise. Beck on the run. Steps over one man, beats a second man, and he puts it right at the keeper who pushes it over the crossbar. Come on, guys. All right, the header goes down. Putting a little pressure on him here. Ah, uh, come on. Oh, look at the control there. First touch by Altecamp. Is that an... <sighs> They're calling some pretty chintzy fouls, I gotta tell you. Oh, a save! Hineke! Oh, he's the hero. Still gives him a corner, but that's better than being a goal down. Head it out. Push out, boys. Push out. All right. They're working to break us down. Oh, we've got a set piece. Into the mixer. Headed in. Who got it? An own goal. That's cool. I think Coleman headed it off of uh, Schnitzer. That's cool. And that moves us up to ninth with the with the win. With the, a win. Yeah. Yeah. I think Altabauer got the head on that ball. All right, let's... I'm not so worried about the yellow card right now because we don't have get stuck in. Anybody not playing well? Our defensive mid is playing the worst. All right, so Altabauer, Brosh. I don't have really... Oh, Petrov. But yeah, you know what? I'm going to move Petrov back there. And then we can move. Let's do that. Let's let's give. He's not tired. Let's give Polistaris a run here playing central mid instead of defensive mid. See if that helps out any. All right, now I'm going to go in. We're going to pull Alta Baumer for that lack of pace back there. Neither one of these guys have a lot of pace. So we're going to put Alta Baumer back there. Get him off. Now I'm going to have to... I'm going to drop to balanced here. All right, Valar. God makes a good run. Oh, a little lucky deflection. Petrov, Polistaris, 
Uh, nice ball out to the side. That was not good. That was not good at all. Oh, pounced. <laughs> Just a weak left foot right to the keeper. It was like a pass back. Come on. All right, let's pull off uh, Heinrich for Feichtinger and Beck for Kohler. I really hate pulling Beck off. I really like him out there. All right, let's tell him to tighten up. Polisteris. Into the box. Coleman. Oh, nice ball back to Petrov. Beautiful vision, and he bounces it off the woodwork. Oh, that should have gone in the goal. He had a goal and just blew it. We'll take the win, boys. Pretty evenly matched. Pretty evenly matched. I'm pretty happy with that. Excellent efforts. We beat the team sitting top of the table currently. You gotta like that, right? First loss on the season. First dropped points for them on the season. And we're up into positive points per match. There was something weird that happened. I meant to mention to you guys. We got a $526,000 payout for... It was for having the minimum number of Austrian players selected for like 12 matches in a row or something. I, I don't know. But uh, that's good. So that actually helped our finances. Uh, that gave us... 705,000 this month, but 500, like I said, 529 of that came out of that one payout. So that's kind of crazy, which at least gets us up into the positive numbers. But we are, I think we're still at a point we're losing money. We saw a drop off in season tickets by about 70 season tickets. So, um, you know, we're still in the same league. We didn't get relegated last year, but, you know, I guess some uh, some plastic fans, uh, which that happens. That happens. All right, guys, we'll be back for the next match here in just a second. All right, we are back for our next match. We put a couple of loan offers out uh, to try to strengthen our center backs, uh, a couple of German players. I'm only going to take one. But because uh, because they're pretty expensive, uh, I think one of them we're looking at paying three hundred and eight thousand dollars of his salary. It's pretty high, but he's pretty good. He'd probably be our best center back right from the get go. All right, we are at home. We are underdogs, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the home tactic. I am gonna bring Barsanti on for summer. This actually, I'm gonna bring him on for. Coleman because Summers even though Coleman looks better on paper Summers been our goal scorer right so we're gonna go with that let's go boys we already pulled off one big win this match we're in red again I'd much prefer the yellow but that's just personal feeling yellow white Light blue. Not a big fan of the gray and pink, though. Just me personally. All right, let's tell them to get creative. All right, they're inspired. Come on, boys. We're three for three on target. All right, well, that was a pretty uneventful first half. Uh, encourage. Watch your step. All right, Beck plays it in. Oh! I think we had an own goal there. Yes, an own goal. We'll take it. Hey, you put enough balls into the, to the net area and you get some deflections. You might get lucky. That was unlucky. 
I thought he had it there, and then the keeper actually cleared it, and it hit hit his defender. We'll take it. We will take it. We're going to praise. All right, throw in. Our ball again. Nice. Oh, he goes all the way into the box. And Barsanti gets his first goal for the club. That's our new striker signing. Very nice. 2-0. 56 minute, very nice. Puts him on a 7-2, gotta like that. All right, and I think the players will get better as, as they develop familiarity with the tactic. Oh, nice little layoff pass, you gotta like that. Beck beats his man in the box and he is fouled. And Petrov, the central mid, is going to take the penalty. He had a laser that last penalty he took. Just beat the keeper inside the post. And he bounces it off the keeper's hand. And we are at 3-0 on the advantage. Malachik, we're going to go ahead and pull you off. Um, Sommer, let's pull you off for... Let's go with Coleman. And I want to swap out Petrov for Polstanis again. Just, you know, I actually need to do that at the start of a game. I'll try to remember to do that next time. Just, you know, see, you know, see if we can get a little bit more distribution from that defensive mid. All right, set piece for them. I don't like these. And... Oh my gosh, what a clearance. That was brilliant defensive play. All right, let's go with uh, tighten up and let's do a time waster here. Uh, Petrov for Altabaumer and Villar into the back line. Four minutes of stoppage time. And we get a clean sheet victory. An own goal. Barsanti with his first goal for the club. And Petrov on a penalty. We looked good that match, boys. And we are up into the top half. Nine points from six matches. Gotta like that. Gotta like that a lot. Yes, excellent job. I feel things coming together. Maybe. Maybe. All right, good job there. Petrov, uh, I'm going to go with his passing. He really didn't create a lot. And I just signed this guy, and Ricardo Fortunato from Pont Pontadera. I don't know who that is. They are in Liga Pro Group B, I guess, is what that is. And then we're in what league? So why would why he's he's like a league two, right? Okay, I don't even know what level that's at. Must be in a different country. Maybe it was the wrong country. Italy. There you go. All right. So it's like league, you know, league two in Italy or something like that. Yeah, we're not inter. I mean, I just signed him. All right, guys. Well, we are mid table now. That's where we're expected to finish. Three wins out of our last four, and we haven't looked bad doing it. I think we're going to go ahead and seventh and third. Do we want to do the cup? They expect us to reach the third round, so we should win this match. Wacker Innsbruck, Innsbruck, Austria. I remember that from the what, 70, 76 Olympics, I believe. You guys might not have even been alive. <laughs> uh, let's see. Fourth. I tell you what. Why don't well, that's that's a little quick turnaround. Why don't we come back for the second round against Lens? We play them again right behind that, but we'll play Lens and Lifering, and uh, that'll give us a cup match, another league match, a couple more league games that we can catch up on. And uh, again, first season, we're trying to get to know them. We'll we'll hit it a little more frequently before we jump into, you know, 
really getting stretches between episodes. Guys, hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you don't mind. And we will see you next episode. Take care. Bye.